Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss one of the important topic, uh, which is how to read the data from .csv file using a Java code. So it is a most asked interview question as well. So in case if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. So using an open CSV that provides an API to read write data from and to into a .csv file. And uh, we have a read next method under this uh, CSV reader class, which will help us to read the next line of .csv file. And it will return that in a format of string array. And we need this Maven dependencies uh, to write the CSV, open CSV uh, API. So I will share this dependencies in my description section. You can take it from there. And let's quickly jump into the Eclipse and we'll copy this Maven dependencies from here and open Eclipse tool and we need to uh, paste it in the our pom.xml. So in case if you are using any Selenium Java, then you can take the respective jars. I will share that in the link in the description section where you can take the jars from the Maven repository. So click on this open. Uh, pom.xml and we need to paste this uh, two dependencies so i pasted this two dependencies here so open csv and uh, r.apache commons so you need to paste this two dependencies and uh, you need to save this pom.xml and after that and for the project we will have this source under source i have created one package i will create another class under this package so that class will be read csv data and we need a main method so click on public static void main and click on finish so now from here so first we will we will try to initiate a csv reader so we'll try we'll say reader class so here we will try to initiate and state the uh, SV, csv reader so for that i will say csv reader and it is uh, from open csv so you can clearly see that it is from open csv so and we need to import that and we need to provide a reference so i will say reader equal to new csv so csv reader and under this reader so what we are trying to read we need to read a csv file for that we need a file reader so we need to create new file reader and file reader and we need to provide the file location so currently i don't have any csv file in my project so I have it in on my desktop. So let's pick it from there. So here we have this test data CSV. I will copy this and I will jump into my Eclipse again. So I will create a folder in my project. So let's say folder as CSV CSV data files and click finish. So I will paste this test data csv so this is my file location so let's click on properties right click on the file and click on properties so this is my location so i will take it from directory as it is in my project close it and i will provide this file location as this my file and end with semicolon now we need to import we need to throw some declaration as it's throwing so it said file not found exception and we are initiated our csv file class where we have initiated the file reader i mean csv reader then we are initiated the file reader and it is reading a file now now what we will do we will try to read the contents in the csv file for that csv file 
so for that we need a string string buffer so why we need a string buffer why not string so string buffer can be modified but string cannot be so we can modify going forward so for that we will take string buffer i will say buffer equal to new new string new string buffer and i will create an empty array which is for line array that is in string so i will say uh, an array which says data data array okay now we will add a condition we will try to take the data from the reader from the csv reader and we will use the write next and we'll try to see if there is no empty column if there is an empty column we need to end the condition there so i will use a while condition so while i will say data equals to reader dot read next so for this i will do so i need to use if this condition is equal to null so in our excel we are reading a data whatever data we have it will read if there is no data if it is equal to null then it will terminate from there and under that i will use a for loop to read all the column data so int i equals to 0 and i less than data dot length so it should be less than my length data length and i plus plus and now i will say system dot print and it is not a new line so we need to use print because i am reading a line i mean i am reading the row data so i am printing that if it am i am reading the column data then i will go it for println now i will say data and my array as i and now again after reading a row by row then we need to provide a new line so after reading one row i will type new line system dot string dot ln now we need to use ln and i will give one empty space so let me see what is error so it is throwing some exception the file io exception so, so far what we have did we have created a csv reader and we have uh, uh, reading a file a csv file then we are using string buffer and using a string buffer and using this uh, data we are trying to read uh, data from the csv file using a while condition if there is a null or any empty i mean there is no data row then it will uh, terminate from there and it will uh, execute whatever the data we have so let's save this program and quickly run our program now you can see it has given me the employee employee id country and form so in case if you are uh, uh, don't know what data is there in the csv file uh, i will show you so this is a csv file data which i used and just go to it and open with system editor now you can see this is the same data that is being printed on my eclipse console and this is a very much used i mean this is a most used interview question so everyone should be aware uh, on this uh, how can we read data on the dot csv file using a java code i hope this session is very useful for you in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel please share your questions queries in my comment section thank you for watching Thank you.